how I got my body acne to start behaving this winter. Hi, I am your acne big sister and I still struggle with body acne breakouts. It is so frustrating. I feel like no matter what I do, I have a really hard time getting them to go away. And then a lot of the times, like if you have body acne, you know what I'm talking about. If you lay against a chair, if you press your back up against a wall, either you're in physical pain or your pimples pop. And <laughs> that is just great when it ruins your t-shirts. Yay! Body acne is something that I have struggled with my entire life. I vividly remember being in high school uh, at like one of those football or high school rallies, sitting against the bleachers in a white shirt. And um, everyone was staring as I was walking away, kind of pointing and mumbling and snickering. And I was like, what's going on? Looked at the back of my shirt and I had pus and blood dripping down my shirt, staining it and my back because my pimples had popped. And that was the last day that I ever wore a white shirt without a jacket in public again. And since then, I've been insecure about my body acne. I have found some things that work better than others, but especially this winter, my whole body and skin has been going through some changes and I have been trying different things, actual actives such as prebiotic cleansers and retinoids and mandelic acid for my back acne. And this is the first time in probably a year or two that I actually feel like, okay, hey, she's listening. We're getting her under control. This is also embarrassing. I wasn't going to include this, but maybe we will. We're gonna talk about stuff below the back as well, okay? Okay, let's start off with what my body acne was looking like this summer. I, again, always break out. I have a lot of scars, a lot of kind of blackheads towards my shoulders, and a lot of actually large pimples kind of down the trunk and the base of my back. It's painful, it's frustrating, and something that I had to learn as I grew older is that, you know, your skin is your skin is your skin, and if you're breaking out on your back or your chest, you want to use some of the same ingredients that you would on your face. Things that are actually proven to fight acne, or things that have actives that can actually help. I will I'll admit that uh, it's hard to reach. Sometimes it's very difficult to do things. During the summer, I was using different sprays and I've kind of settled on one as of now, uh, but it's really hard to reach that area. And if you don't take a shower every single day and you have sweat that kind of crystallizes or kind of dries on your skin, it can actually be really irritating and cause a lot of breakouts. Now, there are a few things that I've switched up recently and then some things that I have continued to use since the summer that have been working for me and actually been working better than anything I've tried recently. And we always go back to those main ingredients, those actives that are proven to help, and then things for actual barrier support. We want to make sure that we're not overly stripping our skin and I definitely think I have fallen victim to that. I have overstripped my face and I've overstripped my back. Sometimes I don't pay as much attention to my body skin the way I do for my face. And sometimes I end up taking showers that are way too hot or overstripping it, which does not help. And that is where we get into this guy. This is brand new from Zitstika. This is the Silk Shake Probiotic Cleanser for Barrier Balance. And this actually has omega fatty acids as well as green tea. Zitstika is one of the best brands. If you have acne prone skin, they actually create products with acne prone people in mind. And this is brand new. We're working with them on a portion of this video because they wanted to launch those new things. But this, oh my God, if you love milkshakes, if you love smoothies, and if you want to give your skin a little smoothie in the shower, this is what you you use. If you didn't know, I've had a smoothie every day for probably the past four years for breakfast. It's like my little protein shake. It's what I make. Helps me get up in the morning. It's a little kick of cacao and a little happiness, a little perk in my step because who doesn't love chocolate for breakfast? But I love a silky shake. And when this actually said silk shake, I didn't really believe it. I was like, okay, is it like a benzoyl peroxide acne body wash? No, it's actually a prebiotic and probiotic body wash that they say that it's supposed to help balance out the skin's microbiome and it's supposed to not strip. It's like a hydrating and cleansing body wash but it actually cleans you and it's okay and safe for acne prone skin because a lot of cleansers I find that they're either too soapy and they just strip everything or they're almost like goopy and they cause body acne flares and there's nothing worse than getting a little soap stuck uh, in areas that the sun don't shine and then breaking out there and you can't even sit down because of how painful it is this is extraordinarily creamy it lathers up really well and they say that you can use it all over your entire body including your elbows and your knees and I will say that although I think this has helped with my back acne because I'm actually hydrating my skin and supporting it with things like tea tree and the omega fatty acids and not stripping it. I also have used this all over my entire body and it cleanses without stripping. Whereas this next one, I haven't been putting on like my elbows or my knees because it is intense. This is from Face Reality. They have a skincare line as well as an acne clinic, but this is the acne face and body wash. So you can use it on both. And this has benzoyl peroxide in it. This is an acne fighting product. Like this is actually made to fight acne. And um, I will say this is really good, but it is really intense. 
I did start using this on my face and um, unfortunately benzoyl peroxide can bleach. So that is something you wanna be aware of, especially if you have like a nice little dress or a nice little bathrobe, you don't wanna bleach it. So I always like using benzoyl peroxide when I'm in the shower, but this is so creamy. It smooths onto skin so nicely and it actually fights that acne. The way benzoyl peroxide works is by introducing oxygen with a bond breaking with heat uh, inside of the skin and acne is anaerobic, meaning it doesn't like oxygen, that bacteria. So it actually kills that right there in the skin. Now again, the one thing about benzoyl peroxide, this works extraordinarily well and it's formulated for acne prone skin, but it can be a little bit drying. And that is just something that with every benzoyl peroxide, you do have to consider. And that is why I think that these two are actually a really great pair for me because this actively fights that acne. And then this gives probiotic barrier support. It helps with those hydrators and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or stripped. And this has worked for my back. I'm grateful that I do have pretty good mobility and dexterity. I can reach pretty far. But um, when it comes to the behind, I also have some problems with those, which is why when I step out of the shower, things have gotten a little different. So let's talk about that because it is embarrassing. But all of my life, I have struggled with both pseudofolliculitis as well as butt acne. And we are talking about these painful welts that literally show up on my hiney areas. Now, it kind of fluctuates throughout the year. During the summer, when it's more humid and kind of sweaty, it's more the pseudofolliculitis side where there are these kind of boils almost under the skin uh, and very, very painful to the touch. And they kind of look like red welts. And then, you know, when it's a little bit more dry in the winter, time, I actually get butt acne, like actual whiteheads and blackheads that are not the pseudofolliculitis, but the pseudofolliculitis is almost always there. And um, it's really frustrating, you know, because these are two different conditions that look very similar. And um, you can treat them with exfoliants and things like that, but a lot of the things that I've used just don't work uh, because I don't apply them enough or liberally enough. These have done very, very good stuff for the acne, but not as much for the pseudofolliculitis. I think that not overly aggravating and like stressing out my butt skin has been helpful, um, but this is actually what I've been using as I step out of the shower. Now this is brand new from Versed. This is something that I've never used before, but they came out with this this year, and this is a firm ground retinol body lotion, and oh my god, why did brands not put retinoids in body lotions sooner? Like I literally have worked with dermatologists who have sat there and told patients to mix just a pea-sized drop of their prescription strength retinoid in with some CeraVe and spread it on their body because it can help with anti-aging and it can help with a lot of skin conditions, but a lot of brands don't have retinol body products. The closest that I've used is a retinol hand cream from Beauty Pie that I really love. But Verst launched this, and this has been phenomenal. As you know, retinoids work by binding to the RAR, retinoic acid receptor, and causing a chain of events in skin that leads to the dermis, that bottom layer of skin, to become thicker, and that stratum corneum, the top layer, to kind of exfoliate off a little bit more. And it works by renewing skin and actually thickening it and helping that skin kind of produce more of its own skin cells naturally faster. And retinoids are fantastic for acne, for hyperpigmentation, for dark spots, for wrinkles, and for scars. And my butt literally has acne, scars, pseudofolliculitis, and that pseudofolliculitis, it's really inflammatory, it's in inflammation, and it leaves behind these dark purple marks on my Botox. My Botox, my Botox. It is very, very frustrating. This has been phenomenal. It's got water and this retinol, but it's also got jojoba esters. So it's almost like this creamy emollient retinol body moisturizer. And it's actually a decent amount for what you get. And the price is not horrible. Whereas if I would try to use like a prescription strength retinoid, first off, it makes your butt peel. Trust me, I've tried. I tried to spot treat my prescription strength retinoid onto my butt. That was frustrating, but it's gentle enough that it actually works as like a body moisturizer, but gives those benefits. And I never thought I would say this, but like, my butt is glowy, okay, okay. And my back is glowy as well. And I feel like this, especially in combination with these, has really been a game changer for me. This retinol is encapsulated. And again, there's also that jojoba and that cocoa butter. And all of this is really nourishing to skin. And the fact that it's encapsulated means that it can penetrate and actually kind of, think of it as like an extended release, kind of like Adderall XL. It's an extended release of this retinol so it can actually work more over time. This has been amazing for the body and for the butt. And I think that these three things have been phenomenal. And these are the things that I kind of changed as I started to see these results. But let's not forget that there are other things that I'm still using. And I think it's important to kind of speak about those because of what they do. I've been using this for at least the past year, probably a little bit more on and off here and there, but especially during the summer, I was using this nonstop. This is the Sandra Lee MD Salicylic Body Spray, and I would just spray this on. Uh, it's 2% salicylic acid. You know that that's an exfoliant. You know that it's oil soluble, so it can actually get deep into those pores, and it also helps to kind of kill some of that acne 
acne bacteria. And this is wonderful, and if you have issues with mobility, you just kind of spray, 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 spray it on, and it is great. But as I was using this during the summer, it didn't help with everything. It did nothing for my butt. Um, but even for my back, it was good if I was like on the go, but I don't think it was enough. And actually adding, you know, a really good cleanser and a cleanser that's actually meant for acne prone skin, as well as an actual kind of treatment step with this retinol, I really feel like these are enhancing this or doing a little bit more than what this could handle on its own. And let's not forget about emergencies. Zitsticka, you guys, I keep on coming back to Zitsticka. These micro dart patches are so freaking good. And for Black Friday, I stocked up. First, Amazon had a sale on Zitsticka, so I stocked up. And then on Black Friday, they had a sale and I got a whole bunch more. And then again, as a part of partnering with them, I was like, hey, can we get a couple more, both for my own little stash, but also for our beautiful butterflies, which yes, we do giveaways for. But these Kayla patches are some of my favorite products on the entire market. These are made for acne. And if you have an emergency, if you have a large zit. If you have something that's kind of sticking out, especially if you're wearing like an off the shoulder dress or you just have something that is an emergency, Mwah, there are nothing like these. These are these little micro dart patches. So they actually have these darts that literally have acne fighting ingredients in them. They have tea tree, they have salicylic acid, they have sodium hyaluronate for a little bit of hydration and a little bit of humectant activities. They've got niacinamide, they've got an olega peptide 76, and all of these help with yes, acne and actually helping to kind of puncture that little zit under the skin and kind of get it before it becomes angry and mad. Also help with that hyperpigmentation that could be left behind normally because of the niacinamide and then help to soothe the skin and actually stop that zit from really coming and getting angry to the surface. These are so phenomenal. And I will say, I only use these on my back. I don't use these on my butt just because I haven't had like a butt emergency. I, I don't know if I ever will. And also these wouldn't work on pseudofolliculitis, at least I don't believe so, because that's more inflammatory, whereas this is actually meant to fight acne. These are some of my favorite pimple patches and I keep on going back to them over and over again. They come with like a little cleansing towelette, so you actually cleanse the area first, then you stick on the patch and literally four to six hours, especially if you leave it on overnight, the zit just like, <sighs> slurps itself either back into the skin or like away and dissipates. Um, and this is one of those things. We actually did a video of testing these out overnight and my acne looked so much better just by the next day. There's nothing that's going to cure a pimple or cure acne overnight, so don't get that wrong. But this is one of the best things for those emergency treatments. And I have been using those on my back if I'm wearing an off the shoulder dress or something big comes up. Just love this stuff. I mean, it's a valid, very important part of that routine. Now, again, these are the three things that I changed the most, especially for my pseudofolliculitis and my butt acne. I think that these are the things that have helped the most because they are really the major changes. But all together, I finally feel like I've gotten my body acne to behave. And is it gone completely? No, like I still have little breakouts, I still have little pimples, but it's just such a major difference. And just being able to get dressed and like not be in physical pain <laughs> or to actually be able to wear a sleeveless dress and not be like ashamed about my back or not just like worry about it, you know? I don't wanna let these things impact me. I have worked really hard on skincare being self-care and loving my acne and my textured skin because you know what real skin does have texture just the way the bark of a tree has texture or the sand on a beach my skin does too and although I'm learning to love that there are still times that you know I want to feel better about my back acne or I just don't want it to be actively breaking out and as I go through that process it's okay for me to treat things and these are the ones that get me there so now you know all about my pseudofolliculitis on my cheeks. Not these cheeks, haha, <laughs> cheeky. And um, I hope that this helps you as well. If you are someone who needs a good body wash and you have acne prone skin, this is it. If you are someone who's struggling with acne, you need something clinical, you need something that actually has an ingredient that's really going to get to work, this one from Face Reality. And again, if you combine the two, slam dunk. If you do want your skin on your entire body to glow, to have that kind of retinoid glow to it, just the way we say on our face, why are we not doing that for our bodies? This is absolutely it. And if you have a hard time reaching, this is gonna be a best friend because a little spray spray goes a long way. And then these little pimple patches, even for your face or basically anywhere that those emergencies pop up, having just one of these kind of in your arsenal for those emergency moments is literal stress relief. It is just mentally calming to know that I have something that's going to work in an emergency and then it actually does what it says it's going to. Another thank you to Zitsticka for supporting our content, allowing us to bring this content to you for free, but also creating products that I freaking love. Genuinely, some of my favorite products. If you ever would have told me that I get to get sponsored by the brands that I've literally spent so much money on and that I relate to that actually create products for people like me, all of their social media has actual before and afters of real people. 
I wouldn't have believed you. I absolutely love Zitsticka and I love these two things. Again, the Volcanic Body Scrubby Dub was not for me, but that is new from Zitsticka. It was a little too harsh for my skin, but if that's something you want, I want to make sure that you do know it is available and that is something they have launched recently. But overall, I do remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Always remember to reapply that SPF and be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.